So we meet again, viewer. And I have one question. Which G2 Megadron belongs in your collection? Let's find out. <laughs> So let's, before we actually get to these guys, eye patch. I have not lost my eye or anything. Um, and the reason why I also, why I haven't been uploading videos lately is because life just happens. Um, I had an issue where my kids got sick, so I couldn't record. Then slow, then afterwards I got severely sick and it was due to allergies. Then I was having technical difficulty with my phone, couldn't record anything. I actually was trying to figure out what was going on with that. And now this. I've been having severe allergies. I've been taking allergy medicines and everything. And my eye basically got infected from allergies. And no, it's not pink eye. I went to the doctor. It said it's not pink eye. It's just, just basically irritation from one of my hair follicles in my, my eyelid got it badly infected and you know it's just constantly just you know watery seasonal stuff so yeah this year's not been looking so good for me uh, i'm gonna try and make more videos so but i'll be wearing this for a while so yeah there's that story now let's get on with these guys so which g2 megatron belongs in your collection that's a really hard choice i mean honestly you know which this g2 megatron is but this one is not very familiar i actually didn't know who this megatron was and yeah so let's start off with the one we're more familiar with this generation select g2 megatron is the same mode as the megatron of earthrise i have on my shelf but i do have the larkin's layer upgrade kit for him and it really makes him pop now this figure didn't really need it but for me i thought this upgrade kit on him really needed it but this is the g2 megatron that we're all familiar with and everything and transformation is the exact same way as the earthrise transformation articulation is the exact same way but which one belongs in your collection well this one here is actually G2 Megatron, but this is a combat hero G2 Megatron, and I honestly didn't know what, who this Megatron was, and when I did a little research, finding online and everything, there was an actual figure of a combat hero G2 Megatron, but right before it could actually get released in the public, it got cancelled, and there are promotional art of this figure. Now this G2 Meg Megatron Combat Hero is actually the mode from the Siege Megatron. But the only thing different is, besides the paint job, is actually a new head sculpt. While the other one basically the same, just different. Just the G2 paint scheme. This one actually has a, a, a new head sculpt, and I absolutely love this head sculpt. I wish they would have used this head sculpt more of the constant reissue Megatrons we have gotten. But honestly, which one belongs in your collection? It's really hard. If you honestly didn't know who this G2 Megatron was, then it was obvious that this one belonged in your collection. But in my opinion, they both belong because of the lore this G2 Megatron has. And yeah, the only thing I would suggest for this one is, do we honestly get an upgrade kit of this guy? Because this guy has gotten a lot of love and different upgrade kits for this one. And I don't think it would be that much harder to actually get this one upgraded. Just a new shoulder cannon and the missile pylons. Which, honestly, the missiles are basically like these. They were just like little uh, pressure, you know, smash air flow. Shoot, shoot. But yeah, I don't mean honestly get two of these on 
somehow clipped to his arms. And maybe the new shoulder cannon turret can, you know, put it on there as well. But honestly, come on, guys. Let's get some upgrade kits for that. We, er, almost everybody's got 3D printing now. Yeah. But, yeah. Which one belongs to your collection? Uh, that's a hard decision, honestly. To me, both of them belong in my collection. But if you really had to pick, I mean, go with one more familiar with, but I highly recommend Lurkin Slayer. A little upgrade cannon kit for it. But, yeah. This is written, like I said, this has been a really hard to choose which one to actually have in your collection. And I've been trying to figure out, you know, I mean, Articulation-wise, they're exactly all the other more recent Megatrons we have gotten. The Earthrise, the Siege, constantly the Siege one has been used multiple times in the Earthrise one. But it's just a nice take of something different in your collection. That's a Megatron where something of a G2, and I believe this the G2 Megatron was also used in, in Japan's Beast Wars area. I don't know which one exactly. But I know it's the lore of these two that really both of them belongs in your collection if you're a big Megatron fan. If you're not a big Megatron fan, then honestly both of these don't really belong in your collection. But I highly recommend actually try to get both of these figures in your collection because of the whole lore and just something nice different that's not a traditional gray Megatron. You know, G2 had pretty fun color schemes back then. But you're good. Crazy. So yeah, uh, this is Vaginimus Prime. And remember, may your collection maximize your spark, but never terrorize your wallet. See you next time. So, Mr. Bun, we meet again. <laughs> I just want to show my cat.